Kinlet is a small settlement, it's got very few houses, but it's, it's a little hive of activity and it's, it's a place where there is insufficient housing for those who wish to live here and who need to live here because of the work they do in and around this community. It's got a thriving pub and a, a local school that brings children in from around the neighbouring settlements. There's clearly been a need for some time for more homes here. Shropshire Rural is a charitable housing association uh, operating throughout the county and providing uh, affordable homes and, and all of the related management services that, that, that go with that. Here at Kinlet in the south of the county uh, we're developing a new housing scheme of eight new homes. This project here at Kinlet is a, a community-led development and what that means is that we've worked closely with the the, with Shropshire Council and the local parish council to ensure that the, the homes that we're building uh, will meet the needs of local people. A priority will be given in allocating these homes as when we work elsewhere in the county to people who do live locally and uh, we're keen to ensure that, that uh, in, in building the homes not only during the construction period are we considerate to the environment around us and, and, and try to minimise the impact on, uh, on the host community, but also that once the homes are finished, uh, the work doesn't stop there and that our, our management of those homes into the future and is such that we're able to give good support to the people who live in our, in our homes. Kinlet has is, is been in need of affordable housing for quite some time. Uh, and uh, the, the houses are, uh, are not affordable for, for most people. The council have been um, uh, working closely with the, with the Shropshire Rural Housing uh, right from the outset, right from the outset, you know, so that uh, uh, we were aware of what was going on all, th all through the, the process of, of these houses being built. I think the issue of affordable housing is probably the biggest housing challenge of this generation. The values between house price and the ability to earn is at its widest in a rural community. Shropshire Council uh, has adopted a, a community-led approach to the delivery of affordable housing and the Shropshire Rural Housing Association are one of the uh, great exponents of this of this concept. Properties like this are, are, are built on um, what they call exception sites and they are an exception to the planning rule. They're allowed because there's a demonstrated housing need within the community. The council's method of uh, allocating these is through a choice-based letting system. People register uh, with a housing need, with a local connection, where they're from, where they want to live, and properties are allocated on that basis. ETC Design are a well-established chartered architectural practice and since forming in 1998 a significant proportion of the projects have been in low energy affordable housing with a specific emphasis on volumetrics and um, modern methods of construction. This project was designed to cope with sustainable homes, lifetime homes and housing quality criteria meaning it was both energy efficient and flexible so residents can remain here for life. The rural approach starts with the site. The buildings are orientated at different angles as you would expect to find within a village but still making best advantage of passive solar design. So we have smaller windows at the north side so that um, there's less heat loss and much larger windows on the south to maximise solar gains. And we also incorporated an uh, open space within the middle of the a development which is reminiscent of a village green. The buildings themselves incorporate a variety of rural features including low ridge heights with reasonable roof pitches, timber boarding reminiscent of local farm buildings and a large barn door style window to the south of the properties which has a dual function of improving the rural appearance whilst also increasing the amount of light within the home. The Accord Group uh, pride themselves on being um, quite forward-thinking so far as modern methods of construction is concerned. It's a closed panel timber frame construction so it's clad in the factory, the windows are fitted in the factory and it enables it to have twice the insulative value of maybe traditional construction today. We designed, um, I suppose, an English version of the system and design, uh, decided to buy our own factory and manufacture these, these panels in the UK. We wanted to set it up uh, really as a social enterprise. It's run on social enterprise principles. So the, the word local homes stands for low carbon, local homes manufactured by local people. The flexibility of the system to work with other architects and other uh, clients' desired house types is there. 
I'm a Saxonby site manager, um, obviously run the job, um, sort out all the materials, liaise with every trade to develop and, and make sure everything's hit on target on time, make sure everything's safe and hit the deadlines that we need to hit. First thing is we'll, we'll, we'll put out a letter, um, residents will, will get that, we'll come out, we'll meet with the residents. On this job we met with the farmer first and had a look at the lie of the land, see how we can work it better, um, liaise with the residents, the local residents around here to tell them that on this job we were not going to use their road as an access into the site. We mainly develop affordable houses with housing associations. That's what we've done, that's what I've done from the start with Saxonby and hopefully that's what we'll do for, for years to come, bringing stuff that people do need within these rural communities. Compared to a traditional build, working with this system to me has been faster, safer and I hope we do use it again in the future. I think it's, it's the way forward. We've been over to the site and we've um, very kindly been spoken to by the contractors and some of the children have taken photographs daily and we've kept a log of how it's developed through the last few months. A lot of rural schools, you, you have got a small catchment area and once the, the families grow up, become mature, you lose the children because they're, they're no longer at primary school age and so it's always a struggle for small schools, obviously numbers has a direct in impact on your budget, so hopefully uh, more housing will bring more children. Kenza Heat Pumps are the UK's largest manufacturer of a full range of ground source heat pumps. We manufacture all of our units from our factory down in Truro in Cornwall. A heat pump works by gathering a large volume of low grade energy from the ground the heat pump upgrades it and compresses it into useful energy that's used to heat uh, the home and provide domestic hot water to the property. The main benefit to the tenant uh, of the system is the low running costs of the system. Um, what we get, um, because a large proportion of the energy, two thirds of the energy that we're using to run the heat pump is free energy that's coming out of the ground. Um, the only energy that they pay for is the electrical energy to run the compressor. The running costs are significantly lower than any other off-gas alternative. Um, the running costs are in fact in line with a mains gas system. The other significant running cost benefit is in that as fuel increases in price, so for every penny electricity goes up in, in cost, the actual running cost of the heat pump only goes up by a third of that value. So actually by choosing a ground source heat pump from the scheme, Shropshire are actually helping to protect their tenants from future fuel cost rises as well as just providing low running costs today. The main benefit to Shropshire Rural Housing in choosing a ground source heat pump for this development is the very low lifetime cost of ownership. So once the infrastructure has gone in, the boreholes have gone in to provide the energy for the building, that provides effectively free energy to the building for the lifetime of the, of the building. Um, the heat pump itself has got a very long uh, operating lifetime, we'd expect it to run for 20 to 25 years, and at the end of that lifetime it's a very simple straight swap, one heat pump for the next. It's going to make a, a heck of a difference to the parish actually because we're looking for younger people to come on, to, on, on this area so we've got uh, a younger population. Kinlet's probably a very established um, community and the population is, is ageing so I think it's, it's good to have some new blood come into the village and to keep it young. Shropshire Rural Housing, the community have worked really really hard here in identifying the site getting the thing up and running. It's an extraordinary achievement for all um, and it'll benefit the community for generations to come. With the pressures that people are under nowadays with their budgets, um, it, keeping the cost of energy to a minimum um, really makes a big difference to people. Uh, it's all about you know delivering houses quicker for those in need quicker and obviously very efficient homes and I think you know uh, Shropshire Rural have really embraced that vision and delivered on their promise and I hope this is the first of many. It's fabulous. I found that working on this site in particular everyone is fantastic. It just feels like you're one of the team. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman here. It's just all one big family trying to get the project done to the best of our abilities. Hopefully the local residents will be happy with what we provided. Um, myself, I'm proud of this being my first project as a site manager on my own and when I do drive past in the future I can just turn around and say 
That's what I've developed, that's what we've done. It's a real privilege being involved with Shropshire Rural in, in delivering new homes such as these in rural settlements around the county. For me, the very best places to be are those which have a good quality built environment, that's well maintained and have multiple generations and this is what we're trying to achieve here. We're making a difference and, and that has to be a job worth doing.